Now, sometimes we all have to do things we're not happy about. Like come here tonight. I don't have much time, fuckies. You're gonna love Johnny. Johnny's a happy guy. I'm not. Right? So just sit back if you don't like me. I'm only here for three more minutes and just give me this little bit of liberty. I did a show in Ajax, Ontario, dogs. Huh? Where dreams go to die! And then we born and die again! There is a woman on the door, it's an X rated show, alright? And there is three women in the front of the, of the venue, right about here, yelling out and pissing all the comics off and fucking up the show, right? And I actually said some things, and I got hate mail because of it. I want to read it for you tonight. And I take my own admission of guilt, okay? Because I said horrible things to these women. I said things like, shut your mouth, I can smell your father's cock from here. <laughs> If you don't shut up, I'm going to travel through time and cut out your mother's snatch. Or things like that. I cleaned it up for you people. Believe me, I didn't say snatch that night. What? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Some of you are fucking catching on. And some of you are like, fuck, I'd rather be at home fist fucking myself right now. Been there. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah. Here it is, actual hate mail. Alright, I'm not making this shit up, okay? Dear Ugly Toes, <laughs> I felt compelled to write you a short note to tell you I was disappointed with your show on Saturday. I'm sure you won't give a damn, but I do. I'm a teacher in my 40s. Well, fuck my demographic right there. <laughs> I went to see the show with a friend for some laughs. Oh, I got them mostly from the other comedians. I almost fucking quit comedy. <laughs> We're hurt. You chose to berate a woman who was sitting at a table behind me. She appeared to have a few drinks and apparently did not realize how loud she was speaking. Bracket, she may have been hearing impaired. <laughs> Yeah, because we know what the deaf and hard of hearing like to do on a Saturday night. They come to a comedy show, sit near the front, and yell fucking shit out. That's what they do. I don't know what this fucking guy is saying. Fuck this guy. And if you're deaf and you're here, what did I just say? I said... <laughs> the comments you made to these women were extremely uncalled for and very offensive. I think I said, I bet your parents wish they had Down syndrome so they can't figure out how dumb their kids are. Things like that. <laughs> hey, come on. Yeah. Yeah. I want to, this is my favorite, I want to leave. But I was afraid to get up. <laughs> He's going to bite your face. I did not want to be the next subject of your verbal abuse. We do not pay to go to a show to be humiliated by someone who is supposed to be entertaining us, taking us away from the stresses of our days at home and at work. So <laughs> dance monkey dance. <laughs> <laughs> search your website, record your name for future reference. My friend and I will never go to another one of your shows again. P.S. Your handle should be ugly, sick-minded human being. <clears throat> Here's my response. I got a lot of free time fucking. A lot of free fucking time. Good evening. Thank you for your time and consideration for letting me know how you feel. Hey, you're entitled to it. What you should know is I was not the only comic that was upset with what happened. These women were warned continuously and they would not do anything else but yell. And they told us to bring it. So I brought it. <laughs> I did what I did. To be honest, I'd rather be offensive and make my point than talk over drunk women all night. Table talk to a minimum means sit back and enjoy the show, not talk loud so others can enjoy the show. I wonder how you would feel <laughs> if you were teaching.
teaching and trying to do your job as someone who's near the front of the class making it impossible for you to do what you do for a living. What would you do? How would you feel? I feel sad for your students that you don't possess the idea of empathy. Good luck with that. The show I did was tame compared to what I normally do. You did that right act, so be it. If you would have left, you would have been fine. If you read my site, comedycore.com, or for the more adult inclined, fistadolly.com, you'll notice that people appreciate I don't just do lame comedy, which other comics might do. If you don't like Coke, drink Pepsi. Tell Yuck Yucks that you want tickets to another show. I'm sure they will give them to you. Tell them you want to be taken away from the daily stresses of your life and at work and at play. This would make a good lesson for you to talk to your class about. I am free most days to come in and talk about this. Although I wonder how good of a teacher you could be when you called me ugly. Is that your own doing or part of your curriculum? Don't you know that the children are our future? <laughs> Teach them well and let them lead the way. Show them all the beauty they possess inside, fucktard. I'm done. You know what? Fuck that. I'm done. You're up, John. John, no. I'm sorry. My parents are disappointed as well, fuckface.